And once again, we're back on the road with Big Charlie and the Jaybird. Oh, well, hello everyone. I am Shalisa. And I'm Julian. And we are the, the Traveling Weekend. Weekend the Jaybird Journeys. And we are on another journey with our Jaybird. Yes, this is Jaybird Journey number 32. And guess where we're going? Arkansas. <laughs> We're not going to see baseball. No. The baseball team has traveled to Oklahoma City or outside of Oklahoma City, so they're going to be out of town. We're actually going to Little Rock, Arkansas for the Arkansas RV Show. We're going to look at all of these uh, travel trailers and RVs that we can't afford. <laughs> but on our the... way, um, we're going to stay at a harvest house. This will be Julian's first harvest house, and it'll be my second. It is. I think it's St. Joseph's and it's a historical site. It's a farm and agro tourism type location. So we're gonna check it out and take you along. Get, get some gas, baby. Showing 59 miles. I'm gonna go to the gas station. I don't know where you're talking. I think you're gonna bypass mugs. <laughs> I just don't want to take a trailer through town like that. I gotcha. Gotcha. Topped off Big Charlie in Marks, Mississippi. Then we got back on the road. Continue on Highway 3 North for seven miles. Now Big Charlie ain't gonna win any races, so you gotta be going really slow with Big Charlie's passing you. We just passed somebody doing 50 miles. I mean we passed them doing 50. We were doing 50 when we passed. And then we get back up to the speed limit. Cause they were going 40. When did we get windmills in Mississippi? I'm on my daughter's laptop trying to finish up a Firebird Travels video. Remember that stretch of US 70 between Brinkley and Bisco we call riding the ratchet waves? Well, it's been fixed and it's smooth as butter now. And about 20 minutes later, we arrived at St. Joseph Farm Stand, our Harvest Host Campsite. Let's check out the farm store. This is Staten House. I'm sorry, I don't have anything for you though. <laughs> And that'll do it for today. My wife will give a quick tour of our Harvest Host Farm before we check out the Arkansas RV Show tomorrow. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning. The temperature is 33 degrees and our heater ran out of propane.
let's warm up with some hot chocolate and get this day started. So today is their Martin Luther King Day of Service, so they kind of changed up because when uh, on Martin Luther King they had snow, so they rescheduled till today, and we're here at their harvest hose while they're getting ready to work the farm for the spring. There's the goat shed. People are cleaning out the goat shed here. And there's the sheep dog. Hello, how you doing? Hello, little goats. How y'all doing? So they got people with the backhoe doing different things. They got the sheep down here. How you doing? You doing all right? Rubbing the sheep. Hi, hey, how you doing? Look at them. Some of the garden beds. Got some bees. Little bee hives. There's people over there working in the butterfly garden. Getting the garden ready for the spring. They're over here preparing the little gardens in front of the farmstead. This is the farmstead. We came in here yesterday and bought some things. We bought some feed. For the cows and the goats. So I got some of this sausage right here. Last night it was really good. It has cheese in it. Quail scissors. And look at the Saint Abon. A bounty and plentiful and harvest. Oh, so it's like a little tunnel you can go in. Huh, pretty cool. Let's go check it out. Let's check it out. All right, watch my head. So I think this is something like a memorial or temple. Look at that. So that's what the entrance looked like with the building in the background. It's beautiful. Now it's time to hop into Big Charlie and head to the RV show. All right, Little Rock downtown, y'all. Mm -hmm. They said big on Little Rock. Look at that big old smile on my wife's face. Let's check it out. Walking in. All right. Good, good. <laughs> Look at this. Our first RV show. So we could try to win this. Yes, we can win. All right. Here's one of our two chances going in. One of our two chances. Oh, yeah. Yes. Look inside of it. So we got your bed there. Let's see the other side. Got your cooking. Stay with us. It's not bad. Well, I got a lid. So it sleeps. It looks like it sleeps about um, five. Yeah. Looks like we can get five, five in there, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Pop up. Pop up. There's the Dometic. Um, yeah. Come, so come in and hang your jacket up. This is a house. And sit. It is a house. Yes. See, I never really been. I, I, I never been on Fifth Wheel. Never been on Fifth Wheel in my life. Oh my goodness. Ever. So you know? this is what you live in. So when you hear people say that they have two, they have one of these that they live in at a campground, mm -hmm. and then they have a smaller one that they usually that take they actually, out for trips and things. Gotcha. For travel. I see, there's see. the fireplace down there. Yes. Sound bar. That's crazy. And storage. Full rooms. fridge. Yeah, full. Residential fridge. Look at that. Goodness. That's the freezer. That's and here's the. Look wow. At, look at all those keys that come with it. Golly. Crazy. Something else. Look at the stove. Got your oven and a drawer. Oven drawer. <laughs> and there's the bunk house. Look at goodness. that. Goodness. Wow, and that's a bed too. You yeah. talking about the grandkids coming? Oh my goodness, yeah, this is the grandkids. It's not bad at all. Look how wide this thing is. Mm -hmm. 
Cause this right here is a bathroom. Little tube. And then a back entrance. Yep. Let's go to the front. At the back door. They got a back door. So now this is the bathroom for this room. Wait a minute. Come on. Three bed, two bath. Look at that. Now that's the bathroom. That's something. Else. Oh, look at this bedroom. I guess I made a mistake and put my GoPro on time lapse when I was videoing the bedroom. Sorry about that. So let's go check out Harvey City. Wow. And this is the Cherokee um Harvey. Oh, look at this closet space. She all concerned Hello. about closet space. Yeah, I'm looking for a closet. It's pretty I'm cool. For a closet. Nice. Look at here, y'all. Look at that living space right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at that kitchen. A crowded camper is better than an empty castle. I hear you, I hear you. All right, all right. I just dropped all my pants. Let's check out the, wow. Look at how this bed folds out. That's sick. Nice little couch, folding bunk. Got a bunk right here with some storage. Not bad oh, at all. Checking out the outside, cooking. Oh, this is uh, nice right now. Two of these. Oh, it's just been like a cool. Mm -hmm. Put your book right there. Light switch. Look at that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's so happy. Golly. <laughs> so, this is the Wolf Puff uh, Black, Black, Black label. label. Okay. Front queen bed. Okay. 16. This 16. Oh, is that a small one? Mm -hmm. See, it is smaller. 16. Note to not self, bad, camping though. and sleeping bags are like soft tacos. <laughs> oh, wow. And there's your bathroom. <laughs> I mean, man, that bathroom bigger than ours. Yeah, look at that, look at that shower. Look at that shower look heads. Look at that, got a proper sink. sink. Yes. I mean, Academy, this is. Look at this shower. Oh, man, that's all right. But see, this don't have a bump. That's why it's shorter. Oh, okay. So and this could be pool. perfect for us, then. Yeah, just, it's good for I mean, a if it's just a couple, yeah. Yeah, it's great for couple. But, I mean, you can make this into a... Who goes with the... The key. What, oh, just one child? Yeah. That's Junior. We got two of them. Julian. That's already right, small. Mm -hmm. There we are. They grow up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's got some nice features on it. So yeah, it got the little pass-through door, so you can. This put is a pass-through door. She's talking some about of your recreational toys in. And look what you're looking at. And oh my goodness, look here. And there she goes. You can send the kids back here. Yeah. Shut them off. Close their doors. Say y'all stay back here now. Yeah. They can play cards. They can go to sleep up here. That's crazy. Um, only thing they're missing is the bathroom. Oh. If they had, a, it got TV prep right behind yeah. here. I mean, video games keep them in their noise. Oh, this is it right here. They can sleep. They can sit. You can bring them some food. <laughs> <laughs> bring them no All right, this is the main got section there. Air fryer. Yep. Full size fridge. Full size dinette. Come with the water. And oh yeah. Look at this bathroom. Mm -hmm. Walk through bath. And then the, you can go out to your bedroom. It's outside. It's not bad. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's for the serious people. Mm -hmm. Now here's something I have never seen before. Will you pull that out for me? Uh, you gotta use that little blue lever. Up, and then pull it out. Pull it all the way out. Oh my goodness. You can pull out all your stuff. I've never seen that before. And it's a pass-through. You can do it on either side. Huh. <laughs> awesome. And then I think, don't quote me on this, but there's a button here to push it. Extend. Oh, what was that? Oh, that's to lift the thing up. Ooh. Ooh, you better lift that back up. That don't even make sense. Look at this. Golly. I'm about to check that out. <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh, sorry. We missed this. We got a washing machine. Free. We got light in the shower. Hold on. A light. Pretty sweet, huh? It is. What is this? 
a delay. That's crazy. Is it a bread maker? <laughs> it's none of our business, evidently. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen Maybe it's a dishwasher. Oh, I, I think there's a dishwasher. No, I think you're right. A dishwasher. <laughs> a dishwasher. A dishwasher up okay. in here. Oh my goodness. You know, this kind of like the one the one we stayed in Nashville. Oh, they got a, a bunk up there. So that's what the ladder's for, is to go up to that bunk up there. God. Walking up, this is like a tiny house living. Look at this. And it even has a fireplace up here. No. Yes, there's a fireplace up here. And plenty of storage. Oh, pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Hello, we are inside the Micro Light Flagstaff small camper with double axle. And it is the front bed with the rear bath. And you come in with the rear door. Look at this space, though. It That's has it. a um, small slide out because it doesn't have a, a, a dedicated dining table. So we put these little things so you can eat on. And even has a little extended counter. Yeah. Fireplace down there. Okay. For effects and heat. Oh yeah. Has a stove. Has a stove. Three eye burner. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's solar prepped, microwave. Yep. Look at the fridge behind you. And a full size fridge. Oh yeah. Look at that. And oh don't forget the bathroom. The corn yeah. shower. That's pretty cool. Sink. Oh, sink. Medicine cabinet. Look at that, y'all. That's awesome. Nice lighting. Very nice lighting. Mm -hmm. And we have, like he said, a fridge here. Got the fridge there, people. Yeah. And, and the, the freezer. freezer. Nice size freezer. Yeah. And it's nice and cool. <laughs> and also has a little storage over here. And you can hang, take this shelf out, and then you can hang stuff in there. Hang your jackets when you come in. That's crazy. Nice. Indeed. And your lights and everything eh, is Bluetooth. You can monitor your whole RV with your phone. Wheel, Just scan wheel, it. Wheel. Pretty cool. This is awesome. Look at this deep sink, y'all. Now this is nice. Look at that. Look at that. Awesome. Yes, it Very is. nice. <laughs> nice prep space here. I mean, that is nice. Oh, yeah. Cook some meals here. Cook some meals on it. Yes, you can. All right, y'all. That's it right there. It's a good looking 5, unit. Pounds. Oh, not a lot of weight at all, y'all. Hey, so, guys, we're Dawn and Darren. We're ready to go traveling. We're here at the 2024 RV show in Little Rock, Arkansas. Bow, and buddy. hope to see you. All right. And all right. what's your channel name? Ready to go travel. Ready to go travel. Ready to go travel. Okay. All right. Number two. Ready to go. Gotcha. And they're fellow Jayco owners. Oh, yes. yes. They have a White Hawk. Absolutely. Yes, Please be sure to check out their YouTube channel and subscribe. We did. So this is what I've been looking at, the Geo Pro by Rockwood. It comes already with the bike racks. What do you think? Not bad. It's open. It's nice and open. Nice little couch nice little three burner huh? mm -hmm. tv the all and everything's over here yep and the microwave let's check out the look at the bathroom come with a sink in there bathroom with a sink nice not bad you have to you have to live this in is here you have to the live brinkley this, this wow. is beautiful. nice for entertaining yeah. Wow. That is, look at all of this. Mm -hmm. And this has your little coffee bar. That is something else. Goodness. I mean. Yes. Well, maybe not. You see they got a coffee bar? This is gorgeous. Yeah. This is something else. Yeah, you, you, you can live in this. You look at right. She's telling me to look in here. You can look at that. This will work. This is your office. This is your office right here. Goodness. She's and always on a man cave. Okay. And look at this. Come bring it up. Wow. Wrinkle is not playing around. Ain't playing with you. Mm -mm. Look at that mirror. Check yeah. yourself. You come and model up in here. No, look at him. Look at him. Wow. Well, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, don't play yourself. I'll tell you what. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Ooh, this is a nice bedroom. Yes, it is. Look at him. 
Brinkley is not playing. And Look the mattress that. is even good. Did you feel his mattress? The better? mattress is good. Feel the mattress. It's better than all the rest of them we've felt. Not bad. No, it is nice. They all together just gone with the wind. That's nice. <laughs> yes, it is. With a nice TV. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. Oh, Most wash and dryer? Look here. Well. Nice smoke Your washer store. go down here. Your dryer go up here. That's sick. And still got big clothes. Closet, look at the shoe department down back there. Wow. Let's see what the else bathroom? they have up in here. Look at this bathroom. We still not finished, y'all. This is the bathroom. Oh, you're not your bathroom. Oh, wow. Look at that. Nice bathroom. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Very nice. Not got a little cubby hole right here. Yeah. And then she can deco. <laughs> what that hole? Woo. All right. Outdoor space, living space. Ever chill. Now look at that pass through. Look at that storage. Golly. Take your camera. And this right here, you can hook up here and wash your car. Wow. That is something else. We'll check that out in a little bit. So we're going to take a look at this storage cellar overlay. That is. Built to go out of this room. Man, look at the inside of there, y'all. Spinning seats. I wonder, uh, uh, look, look how that folds into your bed. You see that? Mm -hmm. With a microwave. microwave. Little countertop to cook. Look at this. Oh, okay. Your hand will pop out. Nice. Oops, I think I had the camera set to time lapse again. This is the new camp tab 320 teardrop, and it's really cool. Look at here. Come here, Charlie. The 400 model. You got and, a bed, wow. and then it has the, your, litty, your seating. Got your seating area. Look yes. at this thing, y'all. Got a bed oh, with yeah. a sky, uh, skylight. A skylight here. <laughs> and then it got your full kitchen counter. How's the bath? It is a wet bath, but it's a nice wet bath. It's a nice wet bath with a sink. They're not playing with you in this thing. Mm -mm. For 50000 they better not be playing. <laughs> sick. Fridge. Nice little TV. Not bad at all. How would you like to be in something this small? Yeah, I can do it. With. This is the Overland series. Let's see what it looked like. Nice. Okay. Look at this TV. Look at that TV for you overlanders. Oh man. Got a skylight right there above the bed. Seats pretty good. Look at that. You can move the TV and watch it from bed. Oh, okay. Let's see what the bed don't look like. Peoples. Well, those ain't bad right there. Oh, it's dry bag. Decent looking shower. Got hooks on the wall. Okay. Not bad at all. Yep, you see the tarp? Look at that. Look at her reinforced around there. Uh, axle. Love that. Look at this axle down. Come on down. Oh, excuse me. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> Can you see it? Oh, that's pretty cool. You see it? Yeah, tripod and then obviously that booth makes it a nice that booth makes it a nice And that is it. We had a great time attending our first ever RV show. But now it's time to head back to our RV, our J Nest, and head back home. It's time to tell the ghosts goodbye. Oh, okay. And it's time for us to head out. And that woman woke me slap out. <laughs> we had a great time, right? Yeah, it was great. Our first RV show and his first Harvest Host. We were boondocking at the Harvest Host. Yeah. That was an experience for him. I told you, it was pretty cool. Yeah. But we did have some little learning curve. First thing, 
make sure your power bank is charged. That was her assignment. She failed. I did. Very miserably, I must say. But, I must say, don't just have one power bank, have two. My second one was fully charged and it worked. Yep, we kept the phones charged. That's right. And I had backup heating, right? Oh yeah. That little buddy mm, is awesome. Am I right? Yeah, it's a so, lifesaver. It did. Since the temperature dropped down to what, 20? It dropped to 28. 28, yes. Jesus. But little buddy came right on time. Oh yeah. Yes, it did. And yeah. we stayed at a nice harvest host, uh, St. Joseph's Farm Stand, which actually is on the property of, a, of the Catholic Church, an old orphanage is what they said. Yeah. We hope you enjoyed Jaybird journey number 32 to the Arkansas RV Show in Little Rock and our harvest host camp at St. Joseph Farm Stand in North Little Rock. We are the Traveling Weekenders and these are the Jaybird Journeys. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, and as always, be blessed. Peace.